Welcome to Channel Shoes to Class today on this Wednesday the 10th. I hope you guys had a nice four-day weekend. I hope you're ready to get back to work today. We have a lot to do. Okay, students, a lot to do. And I hope you're ready to learn and to listen. At this time, you have nothing to turn in. We took a test on Friday, so there was no homework given to you to work on over the weekend. Incompletes for track two. I don't think there are any now. There were some on there, but all of those turned to zeros, okay? And you cannot make those up. Um, <clears throat> today we will be taking a pop notes quiz and we're going to take notes in class today. No homework. We are starting chapter 9. They don't listen to me carefully. Chapter 9 is about solids, cubes, cylinders, pyramids, um, uh, rectangular prisms. We will be learning how to find the surface area and volumes of these figures. Now listen. Traditionally, in the past, this chapter has given students a lot of problems, so please, really, really work hard in this chapter. The video today is about solids just in general. We're going to be learning two definitions, and we'll be looking at specific names of different solids and learning those names. The teaching video is called Lesson 9.1. It's about 30 minutes, and Mrs. Duke, if you would start it, please, at the 250 mark today. Let's take a second and talk about your test from last week now. And there are some pretty good grades. Okay, I, I was happy. Some of you still are not turning in the review sheet, which really blows my mind. It's like, boom, there it goes. My mind is blown. I can't figure that out. You have two class periods to work on it the entire time. Um, and it takes five points off of your test because well, it doesn't take it off, but you don't get the five bonus points. But nonetheless, that's your business. And so um, your tests were passed back to you today. Do not throw them away. Do not. You are going to do test corrections, and we're going to do those tomorrow. Please do not throw away your tests. One student is supposed to retake a test from way back in chapter, whatever chapter it was. This student knows who they are, or this student knows who he or she is. And this student has not done this. You have the whole week to do it. Now, I, I talked to this student in the hallway last week, so please don't forget to retake your test sometime this week. Mrs. Duke has a copy of that test retake. I sent that to her about a week or so ago. So please take care of that this week. Okay, at this time, get out your notes from Lesson 8.7. That's February 2nd. So um, do not pause the video, Mrs. Duke. Just let the video run. Students, get out your notebooks. Your notes, uh, get your notes out from Lesson 8.7, February 2nd. Get out a blank sheet of paper and at top, put Pop Notes Quiz and put your name. Pop Notes Quiz and put your name. Okay? <clears throat> and we're going to get started now. In a second, Mrs. Duke, you will pause the video, but not yet. Okay? Now, here's what you're going to do first on your Pop Notes Quiz. You have all of this information in your notes. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is numbers one through eight right here, okay? Numbers one through eight. So number these one through eight. Write down the definition of the radius, definition of diameter, definition of circumference for number four right here. Give the formula for the circumference of a circle. So C equals, and there's two of those. You can give me either one of them, I don't care. Then give me the definition here. Definition here. Um, I'm sorry, give me a definition here. Okay, and then here, give me the formula for the area of a circle. So it's going to be A equals, and then give me the formula. Then give me a definition here, definition here. So everywhere there's a check, check mark is a definition. So numbers 1, 2, and 3 are definitions. Number 5 is a definition, and numbers 7 and 8 are definitions. So at this time, now Mrs. Duke, pause the video. All the students can get to work on this. <clears throat> when everyone's done, then restart the video, and we'll go on with the other questions for your quiz. Okay, this is number 9. Now, I usually go in order of your notes. You're going to have to go back, and I apologize, but go back in your notes now to where we talked about circumference. This is number 9. I gave you a problem like this. You should have the answer written down. Just tell me the circumference. I'm moving on. You really should not be working these out. You're supposed to have these in your notes. So, Mrs. Duke, don't pause the video. We're going to move on. So, students, look at your notes. Back in the circumference part of your notes. 
less than 8.7. Look up this problem and tell me the answer for number 9. Number 10. I give you a problem like this in the area part of your notes, area of circles. Okay, and I gave you a problem that had a di diameter of 26. You should have it all worked out. You should have the answer. Give me the answer to this problem, please. I'm going to move on. Please don't pause the video, Mrs. Duke. Everyone should be able to turn their notes to the area section and find a problem where we found the area of a circle that had a diameter of 26. Write the answer right here. All right, moving on. Now, I gave you a problem in which I gave you the area, and I said find the diameter and the radius. Now, this was number 10, so number 11, are you listening to me, is the diameter. Number 12 is the radius. If you don't number your paper like this, I'm taking points off because I'm telling you right now to do that. So number 11, you give me the diameter of the circle. 12, give me the radius of the circle, okay? So that there was a problem in your notes where I said, hey, the area of a circle is 38. Tell me the diameter and radius. You should have those two answers. And then lastly, in your notes, you should have a problem like this where I said, find the area of the shaded factor. This is number 13. Tell me the area of the shaded factor, all right? So look that up in your notes and find the area of that shaded factor, okay? All right, moving on. <clears throat> Continuing on with the announcements for today. That's all for today, I guess. Yeah, that's it. That's all for today. Please get started with your notes, taking notes. Have a great day. Contact me if you have any questions at all. I'm Mrs. Duke. Please let me know if you do not finish this entire video in class. And if you do not finish, the students, you do not 